one of the tools that I recently got to know is, hey, what's that and RF line of sight. So when planning for some of these experiments uh, where I need to have direct line of sight, I'm able to use some of these free tools to look at whether or not a radio can hear another radio, um, whether depending on the geography of a specific area. So let's say I have something over here uh, and I want to see if radio A and radio B can communicate with each other. Well, this website allows you to generate an elevation map and I can say definitively no. Uh, it absolutely cannot communicate with that other radio. So while getting used to some of these cool LoRa technologies, I do have to keep line of sight in mind. And if I want to make sure that I'm setting my stuff up in a way that other sites can receive it, then it certainly helps to know whether or not there's some sort of natural formation that is causing uh, there to be a block. Now, in this case, you know, if I wanted to kind of move around and find like a location that does support uh, a really long distance of transmission, I'll probably have to move over here because I'm in the middle of North Dakota. Uh, I can identify spots that are really good for me to run my experiments. So if you're into radio stuff, if you are curious as to why a certain receiver maybe isn't getting reception, I have to recommend this as a cool way of figuring out whether something is even worth trying. Uh, because a lot of times I have found that I'll come up with an idea and then find out that nope, uh, it actually is not possible for one radio signal to be received by another just as a result of the terrain in a certain area. So super useful. Um, I found this to be uh, great for any sort of radio experiments. Man, North Dakota is a tough case. It really seems like uh, it's difficult to find an area where you can get clear reception.